So we've um, got in from the meeting yesterday, set off to Luton four o'clock, got back home uh, about six o'clock at night. So full day and then get woken up by a phone call. One of our clients, his offices have burned down, unfortunately. Um, so it's now 1 a.m. We've been on the phones for about an hour-ish, sorting everything out. And we're going to site because they're going to be sending five of their staff to work from our offices to make sure that they can operate and obviously manage client expectations and let everyone know what's going on from seven o'clock in the morning. So yeah, never stops being an IT guy, does it? So it's about 20 past two. We've moved two desks from here into what was the meeting room, the meeting room desk back in here. I've then got to set up these five desks for the client who's going to be using the office whilst we sort out what's going on with the fire and everything else. So I've spoke to Tom while he's in Greece um, and I've got Steve Spence coming in at five o'clock to set everything up. So cracking on. Right, so it's 10 to five. Um, we've been working since 20 past 12. We've moved the Halcyon Days and the NLB team into what was the meeting room. We've got the meeting room desk in what was the Halcyon Days room. Set up Tom, Steve, Chris and Adrian in this room. And then what was the Halcyon support desk is now the client's office uh, for five members of staff um, to get them working because obviously with the fire, we're now going to site because the fire brigade have said we can go in. We're going to go and try and remove and salvage the servers. Wish me luck. A little update of what's going on. I'm covered in absolute mess. Been to the building, got the servers out. And um, they're unfortunately fire damaged and water damaged. So big job on our hands to recover the data. Stay where we up to with the computers. Uh, one, two, three. Super stay oh, yeah. in the office two hours early. Setting up all the computers, ready for them to have emails and phone access so they can carry on trading from our office. And we have been pushed to a temporary office because they come first. So just a quick update, it's about midday. Yeah, just after 12, um, still haven't eaten, still haven't had a break. I've had to shoot to Costco and get extra chairs. We've had to do another site visit for an aesthetics, aesthetics clinic in uh, Blundell Sands because a user had gone over a chair with a cable and a loose cable had turned a couple of phones off and now we're shooting back to site um, to have a, a meeting with the client and put some long-term plans in place now that the staff are, have all been up and running and working since nine no issues which is good um, so yeah quite an effective disaster recovery plan um, but getting a bit tired, flagging a little bit, and I'm meant to have a gym session at three o'clock, so I need to try and find a little bit of a second gear and, uh, and get cracking. Give you some updates soon. Right, it's 10 past three, um, and we finally finished for the day. Still haven't had no dinner, still haven't had nothing to eat. The team of the same worked right through. Good news is we haven't missed one service level agreement across all the, the customers that we look after and the clients that we have. Um, the client who's obviously had the, the disaster and um, obviously the office has burnt uh, has done 900 calls today from the five staff that are based here in our office which is just phenomenal uh, they've also got a temporary working space done we've lent them some of the equipment that we have in our office like printers um, they've had every wagon on the road and they've done everything that they needed to do so team effort from, from both their guys um, being resilient in obviously what's gone on and then from our team as well just jumping in and getting everything done so it's absolutely fantastic i'm completely worn out um, as of the team but we've got a couple of hours left uh, and we're just going to regroup and, and get ready for tomorrow so yeah brilliant news and you know big well done to everyone involved so catch you soon